Hey folks, this is Dr. K, and in this video I'm going to show you how to set up a Jakarta EE project in IntelliJ IDEA. Okay, so first we're going to go over to uh, IntelliJ IDEA Ultimate, and I'm going to create a new project. Uh, I'm going to choose uh, Jakarta EE. If it's not already chosen, you need to choose that. And I'm just going to call it, for the time being, my Jakarta project. Okay. Uh, I don't want that to be in there. I want to put it in my working directory, which is developer CS5244. Um, and uh, make sure you use web application, okay? That's the type of projects we'll, we will be using in this course. Uh, choose Java, choose Gradle. Um, these don't matter. Make sure you choose a JDK that is at least JDK 17 or higher. And then click Next. You should see this screen, and you should see that server is, servlet is selected from specifications. Let's keep that on there. Okay. And then I'm going to hit create. Okay. And I'm waiting for this to build. Still waiting for this to build. Okay, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my Jakarta project directory, and I'm going to observe here that I have this build.gradle file. That's my main build.gradle file. And uh, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get rid of the group and the version because I don't want these um, cluttering up my namespace. And what I do want you to notice is that when I got rid of the build and um, or the uh, the version number, um, a little icon popped up here saying "Load Gradle Changes." It's the little elephant which Gradle uses as their kind of um, mascot, and uh, this little reload symbol there. So you want to click that. Uh, if you don't click it, the changes that you made will not take effect. So go ahead and click that to reload Gradle. All right, and uh, it built quickly. And now you want to go up to uh, this current file here, and you want to create a new run configuration. Okay, Tomcat. Uh, we're going to do a Tomcat run configuration. And I'm assuming we have just downloaded a brand new version of Tomcat and put it in our working directory. So I'm going to go to Add New Configuration. I'm going to choose uh, Tomcat Server Local. Uh, be careful that you don't accidentally choose Tom EE Server Local. That's a different. Um, that is a different server. Okay, I want Tomcat. That should be the first one here. Local. And it gives me this. I'm just going to call it Tomcat. Uh, and here's where, if you've never configured it before, it will ask you to, to find a home folder for Tomcat. I've already got one in here. Uh, and you can see that that's in my working directory. Um, and that is wrong. It should not be in Idea Projects. My apologies. My working directory is Gregory Developer CS5244. Uh, so actually, I'm just I'm just going to go ahead and um, choose that and see if it uh, changes by itself. There's Tomcat. I'm going to open it. And yes, it got it right that time. And the Tomcat base directory should be the same. Yep. OK, that's great. So I'm going to say OK. And uh, you can see that there's a warning down here, no artifacts marked for deployment. Go ahead and fix that. 
and I want to choose my Jakarta project. Where if you see a version number on here, or if you see snapshot on there, it means you probably didn't reload your Gradle changes when you deleted those items from your Gradle file. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I don't want the exploded version. I just want the the regular my Jakarta project .war. Um, now notice here, this is important, uh, you want the application context just to be my Jakarta project. You don't want this Gradle on here. This is a terrible naming. Uh, so we want to get rid of the underscore war at the end and the Gradle underscore underscore at the beginning. And then I like to go ahead and hit apply on this and then go over to the server tab and then just this is my base URL, HTTP, localhost 8080, my Jakarta project slash, and that's exactly what I want. And I'm going to hit OK. Um, all right, and now that that uh, created my run configuration, and now you can see that I selected my, my Tomcat run configuration is selected by default, so I can go ahead and run it by clicking this. So I'm going to run that. Okay, and it brings up uh, uh, my browser with Hello World, and I can link to this Hello Servlet. We're not going to need that in our project. This is just uh, the boilerplate stuff that we're going to replace with something else. Uh, but that's it. It's pretty much uh, as easy as that. And then to stop your project, you um, just stop Tomcat. Okay, and. I have to click mine twice for some reason, but uh, there you go. That's it.